Lauren Noel Hill is a famous rapper, singer, songwriter, and actress. She is best known for her album The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, which received 10 nominations at the 41st Annual Grammy Awards, winning five awards. It is regarded by several critics as one of the greatest albums of all time. Hill was born into a musically oriented family and was encouraged by her parents to pursue music. She was known for her singing talent in her school. While in high school, she formed an amateur band named Fuji's with Pras Michel. They were later joined by Wycliffe Jean. She then started doing off-Broadways, which got her into Hollywood movies. Thereafter, she released her first professional album with her band. Over the years, she has also released many solo albums and singles. She is the recipient of many prestigious awards, including Grammy Awards and American Music Awards. She is known as the mother of hip-hop invention. This famous singer is also known for her turbulent relationship with Wyclef Jean, which is said to be the reason behind the disbandment of the band. In 2012, she was charged with three counts of failing to file taxes, for which she served a three-month prison sentence in 2013. She has five children with Bob Marley's son Rohan Marley. The couple never got married. Lauren Hill was born on May 26, 1975, in Newark, New Jersey, USA, to Valerie and Mal Hill. Her father was a computer and management consultant and her mother used to teach English at a school. She belonged to a middle-class household. She grew up amidst a musically-oriented family. Her mother played the piano, while her father sang. Her father used to sing in local clubs and at weddings. Hill became popular at her school for her singing talent. She went to Columbia High School, where she was a cheerleader. She learned to play the violin and was part of the school's gospel choir. She then formed a music group with Praz Michel and they were later joined by Michel's cousin Wycliffe Jean. Initially called Translator Crew, the group performed in local shows and high school talent shows. Hill started as a singer and later learned to rap as well. She also took acting lessons in Manhattan. In 1991, Hill made her first appearance in an off-Broadway called Club 12, which was a hip-hop version of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. She was noticed by an agent and soon landed a recurring role in the soap opera As the World Turns. In 1993, Hill appeared in the musical comedy film Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit, alongside Whoopi Goldberg. In the film, she performed two songs, His Eye is on the Sparrow and Joyful, Joyful. She also appeared in Steven Soderbergh's King of the Hill. In 1994, after changing their band's name from Translator Crew to Fuji's, they released their album Blunted on Reality. Although the album was not a commercial success, Hill gained a lot of popularity for her rapsy alto voice. In 1996, the band's second album, The Score, was released. It peaked at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200. It won the Gammy for Best Rap Album. The single Killing Me Softly won the Grammy for Best R&B Performance by a Duo. In the same year, Hill founded the Refugee Project, a non-profit organization aimed at bringing changes to the lifestyle of troubled urban youth. She also raised money for Haitian refugees. In 1997, Hill left the Fugees to work on her solo projects. She also appeared in movies like Have Plenty and Restaurant. She recorded her first solo album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. In 1998, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill was released. The album was nominated for 10 Grammy Awards. Apart from the songs from her album, her song, Can't Take My Eyes Off You, from the movie, Conspiracy Theory, was also nominated. In 2001, 
After a long gap in her music career and staying away from the public eye, Hill came up with an album titled MTV Unplugged No. 2.0. It received mixed response from the critics. In 2004, she performed songs like The Passion and So High with John Legend. She also sold her song Social Drugs on her website, along with her autographed posters. She performed with the Fugees at Dave Chappelle's Block Party. In 2005, the Fugees went on a European tour, but the band could not hold itself together as differences between the band members, especially Hill and Jean, resurfaced and they could not record an album. In 2007, Hill came up with her new solo album MS Hill, which included featured cuts for The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. The album also featured compilations which she had accumulated over the years. She also performed a song titled Lose Myself for the movie Surf's Up. In 2010, Hill performed in the Ragamuffin Music Festival and also appeared at the Harmony Festival in Santa Rosa, California. The same year, her single Repercussions was leaked on the internet. In 2012, Hill performed at the Warner Theater, Washington, D.C., where she performed a new song titled Fearless Vampire Killer. She also went on a tour called Black Rage along with rapper Nas. In 2013, Hill released her single Neurotic Society, Compulsory Mix, dot. The following year, she narrated an award-winning Swedish documentary titled Concerning Violence. Apart from having a successful career in the music industry, Hill has also appeared in TV series and films like As the World Turns, ABC After School Specials, Restaurant, and Have Plenty. In 1996, Hill got involved in a romantic relationship with Rohan Marley, son of the legendary singer Bob Marley, and they have five children together. In 2012, she was charged with tax evasion of about 1.8 million U.S. dollars. By the next year, she had paid 50,000 U.S. dollars, still owing the government 554,000 U.S. dollars. In 2013, she was sentenced to serve three months in prison. She was put behind the bars in May, but owing to her good behavior and lack of prior criminal record, she was released in October. She was then sentenced to a year of supervised probation, which included house arrest for three months. Hill was offered roles in movies like Charlie's Angels, The Born Identity, The Mexican, The Matrix Reloaded, and The Matrix Revolutions. However, she turned them down. In 2000, Hill went through a self-imposed exile to get away from all the unnecessary media attention and started associating herself with a spiritual advisor named Brother Anthony. When she was 21, she enrolled at the Columbia University and thought of doing a major in history. However, she dropped the idea when the sales of her album, The Score, went into millions. In 